Good morning and welcome to Building Nations 2023. I know that we're all bursting at the seams to share our ideas and thinking on how we can shape a better future for New Zealand and infrastructure. Following Cyclone Gabrielle, we saw firsthand what can happen to our vital infrastructure. That can't happen again. We're going to expand the role of Crown Infrastructure Partners and build a national infrastructure agency. And we're going to build a 30-year infrastructure pipeline to deliver long-term certainty, to enable more effective planning and to reduce project costs. How much damage does we, do we actually need to do to growth and spending and employment in order to get inflation down? In the UK, we have had a mixed experience with private finance initiatives and public-private partnerships, but there are certainly strong opportunities here as well as risks. And I think in New Zealand, we have an opportunity to, as well as um, attracting potentially overseas investment, is to really grow our own industry. even if we wanted to be able to power up the port on electrical um, power for, for everything, it's not there. And, and the cost is exorbitant to, to get it there. If you're not sharing information across the chain, then you're hoarding it and it's no value to anyone. Um, I think it's a big part of the journey. So in the last 12 months, have you had your say on any central or local government consultation? If not, could these stakeholders benefit from your feedback? on the future that they are building on your behalf. Water services reform is long overdue and represents a unique chance to make a real difference to New Zealand. And it is our view that we need to do that in partnership with local government and in many areas they are best placed to do that. We've had the six billion cyclone response announced. Where's the transparency? Where's the discipline? There's a real fusion of um, iwi uh, presence, iwi capability, uh, competence and participation in the infrastructure recovery. It is imperative that we embark on the long-term nation building that I believe a responsible government simply must do. For me, it's about understanding how we can deploy data and knowledge in a timely, efficient way so that we can inform decision making. We still have time to take action and we, we can do it in a way that's going to benefit everyone. So we don't want to just build infrastructure that fits a need now, we need to build resilient infrastructure that uh, meets our needs in the future as well. Welcome to Building Nations 2023 BNZ Gala Dinner. The first award of the evening is the Decarbonisation Award sponsored by Waka Kotahi and Kiwi Rail. And our winner is Ports of Auckland for Sparky. To the Social Outcomes Award sponsored by Waka Kotahi and Kiwi Rail. And the winner is TO40 Iwi Development Trust and RCP for Puna Waiora. The next award category is Biodiversity, Water and Heritage Conservation Outcomes. Fulton Hogan, State Highway 10 Culvert Replacement Project. Right, so we're on to the evening's final award, which is supported by Infrastructure New Zealand. It's the Next Generation Leader Award. And the winner is Sarah Hall from Asiona Construction. What this award means to me, being a Māori female, I've had to work 10 times harder than the men standing next to me. Iti iti te area, tei tei, ka hikatea, ka taia. Although the area re is small, it can ascend the lofty heights of the ka tree. If I can do it, you can too. Buhoro mai, enjoy the rest of your night.